truth be told, my heritage makes me the most <clears throat> unlikely person to stand in your presence today and be nominated for the presidency by you. the opportunity to serve this nation in legislative capacities throughout my period of service. I've had my, had my fair share of successes and failures. However, I take great pleasure in the tremendous lessons I've drawn from this experiences. And if there's one thing I am certain about is that it's possible to make this country great for you and for me. And so today I've heard your voices. I've listened to you. The voice of the people is the voice of God. And I'm obliged to heed your call to serve as it is the only patriotic thing to do. This is a singular honor to me. It is a testimony of the trust and solemn obligation that you have bestowed on me. I am grateful to the Almighty God for the far, for the far he has brought me and our party, Kanu. Today I want to assure you that you have the time, the energy, and the resources to get out there. Comb every part of this country. Build friendships with those who share a common vision for the nation. With, and with God's help, we shall come back to you with nothing short but victory. To my good friends and party leaders, Honorable Kalonzo, Honorable Mudawadi, Honorable Weta, and indeed, Honorable Raila Odinga, Asante for joining us today. Asante Sana. As Kanu, we value your partnership and moral support. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are approaching a crucial phase in our party with solid credentials, firmly rooted in a set of African social values of peace, love, and unity. And above all, equality. Kanu has withstood the test of times. We have seen parties come and go, but we remain knowing that our exploits speak for themselves. As we look at the pivotal moments in Kenya's history, Kanu towers above the rest. Kanu was the party that lowered the Union Jack and raised the Kenyan flag. Kanu was that party that provided Kenya with 38 years of peace and stability. 
Kanu was the party that ensured two peaceful transitions of presidencies, even respecting the will of the people. When it was Musalia Mudavadi, Kalonzo Musioka, Raila Omolo Odinga, Weta Nalenga. <laughs> but let's face it, we have had some low moments for us as a party. Yet in our 60-year history, our commitment to and love for Kenya has never been in dispute. And in those divided times, Kanu can truly claim to be a national party. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if history has taught us anything as a people, is that we can never edit, revise, or erase our past. To us, that is not even an option. We acknowledge, therefore, that during Kano's time in power, some things went wrong. We were never perfect, but we still have a burning desire to right those wrongs. Because we cannot change the past, we will certainly change the future. After 2002 elections, we went on a 20-year, as my SG said, half-time break from presidential politics. And throughout that period, we have supported other parties and watched as the affairs of this nation is run by others. That period offered us a unique opportunity to reflect on what needs to be done differently. For the imperative of the scriptures, of nature and of life, is that we must change or perish. And today, I want to declare that our half-time is over and we are back. The game to do is different. Lazima for Ikue different. Amaniaje. Volume Iko Sawa. Amani Ongeze. The 2022 elections will be a defining moment for this country. It will be an opportunity to uphold the dignity of our people and to draw a line between their fears and the hope of a better future. It is either we let our country slide into the hands of destructive forces or secure this nation with a progressive and visionary leadership. And for the latter to happen, we must do things differently. This time, form it a core difference. I assure you. And if anyone doubts our resolve and commitment to see a different Kenya, your assurance is here today. Thus, in the coming days and weeks, 
we will unveil our roadmap to a different Kenya. When I will formally launch my presidential candidature as a platform rapid, for a rapid and inclusive development. We will demonstrate, we will demonstrate how we will do things radically different from for the for the poor and marginalized. For the pastoralist. We will demonstrate how we'll do things radically different in our fight against corruption. We will demonstrate how we'll do things radically different for farmers, business owners, and in healthcare. And how we will do things radically different in serving you, the people. Our ideology is simple. You should have control over your life and your livelihood with minimal interference from government. Our obligation is to look after the poor and marginalized and remove the burdens that prevent a majority from prospering, period. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the reality today is that our people have lost jobs, their livelihoods, and even the ability to provide for themselves and their families. If Otieno in Condele shuts down his business because of punitive taxes, it should concern all of us. If Wanjiro in Mukurweni cannot feed her family, it should concern all of us. If Wafula in Matisi has to walk for kilometers to seek health care service, it should be concern for all of us. If Arab Tandui in Moiben cannot has to sell his maize at a throwaway price, it should concern all of us. If Halima in Hola, Halima in Hola cannot pay school fees for her child, it should concern all of us. Our people's concern and frustrations must keep us awake, push us into action to do different. That is why the party has now emerged from the break. It has emerged from the break rejuvenated. And refreshed. And indeed, we are Kanu fresh. And with the renewal comes even a greater resolve, a resolve to decisively deal with the issues bedeviling our country, top, top amongst them corruption. We have all sang about corruption and how, it's, how, how it must come to an end. We, must, there, there, we, we know there are laws 
dealing with corruption, but you also know they're not yielding much. For sure, corruption has deprived our citizens of the right to quality and affordable health care. Corruption has denied our women and girls justice. And they continue to grapple, as they, with, as they continue to grapple with domestic violence, sexual harassment, and rape. Corruption is robbing us of opportunities to be great, killing our dreams and destroying our country. If things do not change, there will be nothing left to change. So ladies and gentlemen, we must do things differently. Thank you. God bless you, and may God bless Kenya.